has no escape, nor do we want it. We've come to thrive on it and each other. You can't get the adrenaline pumping without the terror, good people. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Anahor here, and today we're talking about the new 4K Blu-ray from Blue Underground of Dead and Buried. Now, this is my second 4K I've gotten from Blue Underground. I got Final Countdown first because I love that movie and I didn't own it at all. And then I got Dead and Buried because, as you know, I'm a big Return of the Living Dead fan. And Dan O'Bannon wrote Dead and Buried. Um, let's talk about this movie for a second, then we'll talk about the this release. Uh, Dead and Buried is a very unique film because I can't exactly pigeonhole it to any particular type of subgenre. It's a really well-made movie uh, because, you know, it's written very well. And that all the credit goes to Dan O'Bannon for that. The guy is great at what he does. Uh, what I love about Dead and Buried so much is how interesting it is right from the start. This is a movie that gets you going from the very first scene, and I really dug that. It's almost Halloween 3-ish because there is something going on with the people in this town, but you're not exactly sure what it is, and you have to take that journey to figure it out. It's also almost like a slasher film because there are some gruesome kills in it, and it almost is kind of like a zombie film in a way because of what it really is. Uh, and I don't want to spoil the ending, but the story of Dead and Buried is this small town and we get this guy who's a photographer who's kind of visiting this small town and he meets this beautiful woman and she's kind of talking to him and all of a sudden she pulls the wool over his eyes and the townspeople burn him alive and they destroy this guy's body. He barely survives or so we think and then all of a sudden the sheriff of the town is like whoa whoa, whoa this is a small town like what, what's going on and one by one you're seeing people in this town being decimated by the basically the hometown people and they're very vicious very insidious with what they're doing and uh the kills are pretty <laughs> pretty insane actually um as you can see by the cover of this uh lenticular it's a nurse putting a needle into a guy's eye. Uh, there is some really gruesome scenes in this. Uh, I, I thought that this movie was really good. I believe the, the effects, if memory serves, the effects were done by uh, Stan Winston. And uh, he did a great job. There are a few moments where the, the effects look like they just need a little bit more time or money. One, of, one or the two. Uh, but overall, I thought that this film's special effects works were great, gruesome, and nasty. Dead and Buried is a very good first-time watch kind of movie because you get to figure out what's going on, and you start to piece it together as it's going along more and more, and more uh, as opposed to what I think would just be some kind of like what's happening movies where right from the start, boom, you figure it out. I'm not the brightest, you know, light bulb, so I'm sure there are some people that could figure out right from the start what's going on, but me, I piece things together as the movie progresses. Uh, but what I, what's so well uh, done about Dead and Buried is the questions that you have are not questions of what is this movie doing? It's where is the story going? And that all, again, I think comes from the good writing of Dan O'Bannon. Uh, what I noticed about this film, in my opinion, it seems like they legitimately just casted the best actors for the picture. It, they didn't necessarily go for, okay, who's going to look the best on screen? What star power do we necessarily need? No, it was... They got the best actors, and I think that shows through in this movie, because you're through the main your your point of view is through the is through the lens of the sheriff in the town who's trying to figure out what the hell is going on, and his performance is great. Everyone's performance in this movie is good. There are there is no bad acting in this movie whatsoever, and there's actually a star in here, uh, Jack Albertson from Willy Wonka. He was Grandpa Joe, and he was fantastic. He was fantastic in this movie. He is the coroner. Now, there's something odd going on with the coroner in this movie. He loves to fix up the dead people and try to get them ready for, you know, open casket style funerals. And he's a little quirky. And he's going to become very vital to the story of Dead and Buried. Uh, but overall, Dead and Buried is a diamond in the rough. Now, this is from 81, I believe. Early 80s. But Dead and Buried is a diamond in the rough movie. This is one that I hadn't seen before, and I was blessed <laughs> to catch this movie right now because I needed a jammer to, to get me through the day today. 
and this one was just a home run. Dead and Buried was really good. Uh, so I give the movie a solid 8 out of 10. Very good. Uh, loved it so much. And, and a lot of rewatch value because if you're a Gore fan, you, you won't be disappointed with what they have to offer. Now, in terms of this Blue Underground 4K, there is a couple lenticular covers. I decided to opt for the Needle in the Eye one. Uh, but, of course, you can reverse the artwork on the inside to get the theatrical poster, which is something I did as well. Uh, now, the picture quality on this was, I think, as absolutely as good as it can possibly be. They restored this film to it, to its... 4k uh and it looked really good some scenes looked better than other scenes but i think that has a lot to do with just lighting and and things of that nature Uh, so that's to be expected but it is by all intents and purposes a 4k beautiful looking trance of this movie i i really don't think it's possible for it to look any better it sounded amazing there the beach scenes in the beginning i mean you could feel the ocean waves in the room with you uh, so great stuff. I mean, blue, it's Blue Underground. They, they do a great job on their on their 4Ks. So uh, it's really a safe bet, no matter what, when you want to get a, a Blue Underground uh, release. Um, in terms of special features, chock freaking full of them. There are audio commentaries with the directors, uh, actresses, co-producers. Three separate audio commentaries: one with the director of photography, another with co-writers and actresses, and one with the director. There are behind the scenes which is a new special feature for here. Uh, bar- b- dead and Buried locations now and then. Murder, Mystery, and Music. Interview with director Gary Sherman and composer uh, Joe Renzetti. The Pages of Potter's Bluff, which is the name of the town. Interview with novelization author Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough. Stan Winston's Dead and Buried effects. Robert England, an early work of horror. Yes, Robert England is in this movie. Uh, Dan O'Bannon, Crafting Fear. Rest in peace, Dan. Theatrical trailer, poster and still galleries, and Stevens posters, location stills. Now, this is bonus. Then buried original motion picture soundtrack CD, which is included on here, and a collectible, a collectible booklet with new essay by Michael Gingold. So, this is a stellar release. Now, these aren't exactly dirt cheap. These go around 30-ish, mid-30s uh, online and stuff. Um, and I don't buy these too often. I really don't. So getting one every once in a while I think is, is cool. And I think I picked a great one to get, Dead and Buried. A fantastic movie. An amazing release. Beautiful score, by the way. Very nice piano work in the beginning of the movie. Very nice piano work. So I give this movie a solid 8 out of 10. I give this release a 10 out of 10. Dead, Blue Underground is just the masters at these 4Ks. They do a great job. They give you a bang for your buck in every shape, way, and form. So... Dead and Buried is a very safe choice. It's a very well-written movie. It's a very well-acted movie with greats like Robert England, as we as I stated. You've got greats like uh, Jack Albertson, who was Grandpa Joe, and he was great in this movie. Very good. A great lead as the sheriff. Great music. Great gore. Great movie. Dead and Buried, guys. Definitely pick this up if you're a fan. If you want to just see the movie, I believe it's on Shudder and all that good, good stuff. But awesome job, Blue Underground. Awesome job, Dan O'Bannon. Man, we miss you. Great movie, Dead and Buried. Let me know if you guys have seen this movie and your thoughts on Dead and Buried. If not, let me know if this video entices you to check the film out. I really want you to check it out. For now, this is Christian Hanna Horror. See you guys next time. <laughs>